Hi hey YouTube, it's Matt here from the Gear Shed again. I'm uh, just going to do a quick uh, review of this Chinese Heliox chair copy. So this is basically a cheap knockoff Chinese version of the Heliox chair one. Uh, you would have seen these are quite expensive um, chairs. I think if you look in you around the US dollars, they're in a hundred and something dollar mark and over here in the UK a Heliox uh, chair one is about 80 pounds um, which is a, a huge amount of a wedge of money for um, a chair um, granted I haven't seen one I uh, haven't had a look at one or been able to compare it against this so I've been going off what I obviously hear from the internet and what people say um, so this guy here uh, I'm got from China uh, it's a Chinese one that's actually from a UK supplier, so they've obviously imported it from China and whacked the mark up on it and uh, sold it. This cost me £23.99, so it's a good uh, good whack less than the uh, original. Um, supposedly going on by the Chinglish uh, description that was on the eBay listing, it's supposed to be good to 100 kilos, uh, fat bug buggers like myself. Um, it does pack down quite small, packs into the little uh, um, bag here. I'll try not to stick my ugly face in here, I don't want to break in the camera. So that fits into that little bag there. And essentially it's an aluminium frame with some plastic uh, joiners, which I think is pretty much similar to the Heliox one, uh, having looked online. Uh, it's got a, a, a larger centre spar in here that's connected. Now all these are um, shock corded together, so you take the skin of the chair off I suppose as you call it, Oops. like that, and then all these sticky outy bits will fold up and go into the bag. Like that. So nice and easy, pretty compact. So we can stick all these guys in here. Okay, and then the skin of the chair, make sure you get it around the right way, the fabric part at the bottom, goes into little reinforced pockets. These are actually quite surprisingly reinforced, it's basically um, what they've done is they've taken a piece of um, nylon webbing and run it up and doubled it over, uh, and then had a, like a plastic backing, well like it's like a PVC back into it, and then they've uh, reinforced stitches, so it's quite strong. Um, Used this quite a few, uh, used this on a recent camping trip, trying to cut down on the weight and size of all our camping furniture. Um, in the past we have um, struggled with getting it all in, so the idea with this is to, now that it goes goes into such a small package and it's so light, we could be able to obviously pack it all on the, in the car. Uh, strength wise, so for the, for the uh, week that we're away, well about four days we're away, uh, Kids were jumping on it, jumping up and down, adults were sitting on it. Um, I've also taken away when I've gone to work. Uh, I have actually had two grown men sitting in this, strangely, <laughs> uh, after a few ciders and a few beers. Um, granted, they're probably, that's probably only, only pushing it up to the, the, the uh, size of the bloke, it's only probably pushing it up to maybe, uh, be lucky if it was 150 kilos. So it's still quite strong. Um, now. Uh, I, I think the, the major thing, if you're looking at this and against the Heliox, um, what I find with all the camp furniture, I've seen Redix had expensive stuff and cheap stuff, and it all tends to just, just disintegrate after a length of time. Um, this one here, I would think that the, this part would go before the poles. The poles seem to be quite strong. Um, they do sink into the ground a bit, so you might want to put something a bit bigger on the bottom. Um, uh, pretty much everywhere you're going to go camping on, on grass, it'll tend to sink in, so you get, one, you get on a bit of a lean there and you think you've drunk too much, but in fact it's, um, uh, it's just sinking into the ground. Um, comfort wise, this is really designed to be lightweight, put it in a kayak, stick it on a bike, put it on a motorbike, something like that. Um, it's not designed, I don't think it's designed to go camping where you're going to throw it in a car and stay at one place for a long period of time. It's not the most, com I wouldn't think it's the most comfortable thing. I'm going to sit on it, you're going to see my ugly face. Um, it's quite, it's a bit of movement in it, rocks a little bit, and the seating position's not the, the a massively, uh, fantastically comfy, comfy spot. Uh, but 
well, you got a choice between this and the ground. Uh, obviously, this is gonna, this is going to win out on the ground. Uh, so yeah, it is a bit flimsy. I'm about 90 kilos, so uh, that's probably you know maybe getting to the max recommended <laughs> limited amount. Um, so yeah, so is it worth uh, 29, 23 quid? I, I would say yeah, that's pretty pretty spot on for that sort of money. Um, I'd expect it, to, if I was using it in a reasonable amount, I'd expect it the last couple of years. Um, and saying that, when I've done things where I've got copies from China and compared them against the originals, this is actually really well made. Uh, Stitching is very, very good on it. All the finish on the poles are very, very good. All the plastic joints seem to be strong. Um, there's no sort of um, moulding issues with them or anything like that. Um, you know, yeah, I, without being directly comparing this to the Heliox version, um, I would say yeah, it's 23 quid, go for it. I can't see myself spending 89 pounds on a, on a chair, <laughs> and being in mind the construction and everything else, the way that this chair is set up, I wouldn't expect it to be any more stable uh, than what this is, because basically it's relying on the tension of all those poles. Um, and okay, the, the, the Heliox one comes with DAX poles, but pff, um, in my um, experience the difference between the dax poles and ordinary poles is the dax poles are just a bit more brittle basically although they're stronger but they'll go by basically when they get to their breaking point they tend to break whereas the cheap uh, sort of cheap aluminium pole tent poles which are basically what these are um they tend to bend a bit before they break because of the softer metal but see how we go so yeah for 23 quid go for it yep well worth it um, you only sit on it and one drunken night you could destroy it and it'll be exactly the same for the £89 one so um, good good value buying and you know you know it's going to be a little bit disposable so you don't have to worry about it. Alright guys so uh, comments in the comments box, um, subscribe and I'll see you later. Cheers guys.